Hi and welcome back. So this is going to be the second um, video that I'm doing on fitting the bathroom in our bungalow project down here in Dorset. As I said in the last video, this is our third bathroom. Um, it was where the original bath, um, bathroom was installed and we've installed this pretty complex Myra Evoco shower valve. Um, so on this video I'm going to cover um, some of the pipe work that we've done with that using the press fit tool and how we've finished the room so far. Um, as you can see we're pretty well um, ready for the plasterers. Uh, we've got the shower installed, I'll show you that in detail in a moment. Got the bath all fitted and we're all ready and plasterboarded uh, waiting for the uh, plasterers to come and do that hopefully in the next few days. Um, then I'll come back with another video where we'll be installing the fitted bathroom furniture. So we've used the same in all of our bathrooms and actually I've used it in, in our last house as well, which is uh, uh, Calypso bathroom furniture. And we're doing a wall hung toilet. Um, so I'll cover how we're installing all of those uh, bits and pieces as well. So um, this is the tool that I've managed to borrow. So it's a Novo Press tool. You can buy these, I, th I think I've seen now for sort of 700 pounds. Uh, some of them are a lot more than that, but you know, if I was doing this project, I'd originally planned to buy one and then just sell it second hand at the end. Um, so the thing to do, I've, I've managed to mock up um, all of the valve here, all of the fittings. You do need to consider whether you can get at some of the fittings. Um, as I said, you know, make sure you've got room to get the drawers around a little bit tight there, obviously. Um, and then as I fit each pipe, I might mark with a, uh, a felt tip when it's in at the right depth, um, just to make sure that everything's in and secure. Um, and then it's pretty simple one-handed operation once you've got that. So on this one, um, just see how quickly we go here. So as you can see, you know, absolutely brilliant tool, so fast. Um, the fittings are a little bit more expensive than, than solder. I think I paid about £1.50, as I said before, for these fittings. But it's so quick, clean and reliable. Um, I tend to, you, you, can, you can see which ones have been crimped up, but I tend to mark them again with a felt tip as I've done them, just to make sure that we do them all. And then I'm going to pressure test all of this installation um, before we put any of the wall panels and things like that on. So absolutely brilliant tool. So just an update on where we are. I finished installing um, the valve and all of the pipe work into that teed off. So I've got the two runs that go along the back there and up into the wall for the uh, overhead and handheld showers. Um, two that will tee off and come along here and go around the corner to the um, basin and toilet hot and cold feed and then the third one that comes out of this side of the um, unit will come on here and I'm going to put a flexi down here there where that joins up with the um, bath filler on the uh, bath that we'll have a look at in a moment um, and I borrowed a pressure tester um, from Paul thank you for that um, got this up at I've got it at six bar I might just put a couple bar more pressure in there I've not used one of these before I've tended to test the pipe work just with water but um, very happy that I'll be able to borrow um, one of these pressure testers here because a lot of this pipe work is going to be buried in the wall um, and as I said I've had a problem with I've never had one of these press fit fittings fail or give me an issue yet but I've certainly had um, one of these manifolds come up with an issue previously so as I showed I've inserted all of those pipes um, check the depth that they're in and they've now got these um, little locking clips um, to make that secure and I've got um, pipe clips on all of the pipes to stop those moving just in case I get hammer on the pipes that I mentioned I'll put another one um, on this pipe but that's fairly well secure going as it goes through the timber so I'm going to insulate um, all of that pipe work um, and we'll be ready to put the uh, the bath into um, into the position 
So here's the progress we've made so far. So all of the pipe works in, I've got everything boxed in at both ends. And the bath just came with a few brackets to go on the wall, but I've put um, battens along the walls, reinforced in the corners, made out of CLS, so it's definitely not gonna move. Obviously if the bath moves, the silicon can um, come away at the edges. And I've fitted the um, overflow. This is a little bit tricky because <laughs> um, that has a push fit pipe so I'm just bent the pipe to bring that down and bend it round and then I'll put a flexi pipe on the floor to connect to the input feed um, so we're ready to put that in I'm going to glue uh, slide that on the wall and just check the fit and then um, glue it with some sticks like <laughs> um, into the wall then run silicon sealant around it before we um, uh, install the wall boards. Uh, I've got some plastering in here to be done uh, before that but I can get the bath in at this point. So you can see we've got the shower temporarily on the wall there um, and uh, set up just, just for the bath at the moment. I've got um, uh, end fittings on the two shower fittings but we're actually, well, <laughs> although it's a bit of a building site, able to have a bath in here. Um, so the uh, bath fills up through the overflow as you can see there um, and as that comes to temperature we've got this um, hydro glow uh, color lily d ring around here which um, as the water comes through will flash to tell us we've reached the right temperature um, i haven't got the recirculating pump running at the moment so this will show you just how long that can take to come through this bathroom is the furthest from the hot water tank uh, which is in the garage so you can just see there as that's starting to come to temperature it'll flash as it warms up and then goes solid white when it's uh, when it's finished. Um, I've temporarily fitted that at the moment. Obviously, I've got a wall board to come on here. Um, there's a gasket that goes onto that wall that I'll show you later on, and we'll be doing some tanking on the walls here. Um, I've fitted uh, aqua board on the walls which are closest to the shower. We've got a plastered brick wall on that wall which I'll probably tank, um, and then the rest of the room in in moisture resistant board. Um, finished the plumbing so far so obviously the pipes go underneath the bath and um, up to those shower outlets and then the one that you can see at the front there that I haven't quite finished insulating comes along and connects to a flexi hose and then up into that um, uh, bath filler that we showed earlier. I'll put a, a stop valve on there just in case I need to do any maintenance. And in at that end of the room as I say we'll be fitting um, a couple of 600 mil cabinets uh, wall hung toilet and wash basin um, and sink and stuff on top of there so we've got the soil pipe for the toilet on the right hand side down there in the floor and the one for the wash basin on this side which was a, a little bit fiddly uh, but that will all go within the basin cabinet once I've got that installed. So I hope you found that interesting and thanks so much for all of you that have liked and subscribed. If you haven't done it, please do so. Um, I've got um, almost 1,200 subscribers now and up to almost 3,000 hours of people watching. So it's great that you're interested in the project that we're doing here. I love the feedback that we're getting and the comments that we're, that we're getting on these posts. Um, some great tips on how we could have done things better. I'm not saying I'm an expert. This is just a DIY project. Um, and I've learned from so many other people on YouTube along the way. I'm just trying to, to give back. So uh, please like and subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll come back with the um, next videos where we're showing the installation of the wall hung toilet and the Calypso bathroom furniture. Thank you so much for your time.